guys, welcome to another episode of Iconic TV. Today we're looking at an overclocking guide on the GTX 460, um, the GF104 series over here. We're going to see what max overclock we're able to push on these cards. Um, I spent the last two hours just to try and see what max overclock I could push on them. But you must take into account that these cards are factory overclock, which means they were overclocked by EVJ themselves. So, so I'm pushing them even further beyond what EVJ pushed them. And what you must also understand that I did a software overclock here, which means I used applications based on Windows and not a, a BIOS overclock, such as flashing the card and things like that. If you were wanting to flash the card, it will void your warranty and you will have to take it into account. So if I was you and you wanted to get a bit more performance when playing your games, then do the software overclock. Um, so let's look at the programs that I used to, um, to overclock them. Um, EVJ comes with their own program that they use, the EVJ Precision over there. Um, but for this review, I didn't use that, I used MSR Afterburner, because MSR Afterburner works for all graphics card manufacturers, regardless of what brand you have. Uh, and EVJ doesn't. So I want to use a program that you guys can understand, or be exactly the same program that you guys would use at home. Ask which suggests this program. I was able to get about a 28% um, overclock over over the default settings. Over you can see here, I've got a core clock of 843, um, a shader clock of 1687, and a mem memory clock of 2110, um, which is really solid overclock. Like I said, nearly 30% overclock over the stock speeds. So the performance really will be quite a jump there. Eh? Let's have a look now. The program that we're going to use here, Firmark, will will monitor how hard the card is working under under stress. So what we're going to do now, we're going to run a quick stability test. Um, so we're going to press go over here. And let's just drag this across here. What we're seeing is your temperature will be over here and your, te and your speed that your car is running at right now will be up there. Uh, what this does is it's, it's pushing your car to its limit. So if your car was not um, running optimum under this, you'll get artifacts. What artifacts are is little lines across the screen, the odd dot there and there. But as you can see, we're not seeing any signs of artifacts or freezing or anything like that, which means the overclock is stable. Um, and as you can see, I'm getting an FPS of 90 fluctuating to about 100. And as you can see, it's running really stable over here. Um, and if you can zoom out over here, the fact that we're running two cards, which it shows you, both of them have their, their usage and their temperatures here. Um, those are the two cards, both each line indicates each card. Um, it's maxing at about 80 degree degrees and 75. Remember, the first card will always run a lot harder than the other card. It will take on more of the work. But as you can see, it's running quite well. Um, if you guys are worried that the fact that I'm running SLI and you've got one GTX 460, what is the difference in the overclocking procedure? There is no difference whatsoever. What this does over here is it overclocks both cards at the exact same amount. So it doesn't make a difference if you're running one card or even four cards. It will make, make no difference. Um, but as you can see, each card is different. You might be lucky and might be able to get, a, say, an 863 on the clock, and I was able to get an 843. It's really not, these aren't the solid numbers. This is what I was able to get with the cards I have here. Um, if you wanted to push it even further, you could always buy custom coolers for these, which there's, there's dozens of them. If you went to our website, you'll see that we have quite a few custom coolers that you can choose from. Um, if you wanted to push them further, remember the main problem here is heat. And if you can take heat away from the scenario, then you can push it further. Um, so yeah, this was the max I was able, able to get, and um, as you can see, 25%, nearly 30% overclock over the over the default. I'm not talking about the factory overclock that came from it. The standard GTX 460 is a huge value for money in terms of what you're able to get after taking it home. Um, so the GTX 460, I'm extremely impressed with I mean, not many cards can even think of achieving a 30% overclock. So that really is really is impressive to see, and um, yeah, and that's it. This is a Connect TV uh, overclocking guide, and uh, thank you for watching.